It looks like the team at John X Safaris is ready to take us behind the scenes to see how they prepare animals for taxidermy. You know, another neat thing that was tied into our uh, zebra adventure was the time that is spent to prep that. They've really got a great setup here at their headquarters. They've got a big walk-in cooler. They've got a great place to skin and prepare your trophies, which is really important because these are things that you're gonna take home and tell stories on for a long time. The meat is gonna do what it does short term for everybody, but your stories that you'll tell on it and how it inspires others to come hunt is a really key part of this. And the process that they go through is absolutely amazing to prepare all this. Radio. So the meat's in the cooler, we're all happy about that, and let's work with the skin. We're gonna take it that side. Into the salt we go. So Wade, what we've got here, bud, this is basically our salt pit, so we try and keep it separated, completely separate from the meat processing side. And we've developed something very unique over the years where we not only put a bit of salt, but if you look underneath here, we have air, on top of that we have salt. So salt absorbs moisture, right. wood absorbs moisture, as well as air. And now these guys are doing what we call rubbing in the salt. So we're rubbing every single inch of this and then covering it. Um, and then we change our salt here, I would say twice a month. We change salt. The guys here have a very good feeling for it. Most of these guys have been at it for 30, 40 years with us. They have a very, very, very good feeling about the salt. And when they salting, I give them free access to use as much salt as they need. So in a season like this, it's nothing for me to use up to 750 bags to 1,000 bags of salt. This is protecting the memories, you know, of the lifelong memories in many cases and beyond generations. Absolutely. Absolutely. So it's an important step. And what you're seeing here right now, this skin will be in here for about five days, five, six days, okay? And then they're going to hang them out. Like there's a zebra cape, here's a kudu cape and they are doing the final part of this prep where basically they're gonna air dry. And from there, I'll take you over here. What you'll notice is there's spots of white coming there already. That's where the sun has been good already. So it's not too much direct sunlight, but it's been good kind of dry conditions. And when we know a skin is in good shape is if it cakes on like this. You see how I can rub yeah. it off, but not all of it comes yeah. off. It's caking on beautifully. And when you see that, that skin's in good shape then the taxidermists can obviously do their magic. But from here, we fold them, we put them in our container where they're stored safely, and we would have them out of here in under three weeks from the time wow. we're intense. Normally two weeks, turn around 14 days, I put them out of here, and I get them to the taxidermist. What a cool glimpse at how the team takes care of these animals, and by extension, takes great care to preserve the memories of their hunters.